Hey y'all, so I got these acrylic blanks today. So I'm going to try them out. Try the sub method again. Some. just removing this film now I did my image I want to say it's um, it's a little over three inches I'm not sure the exact size but it is over three inches so I'm going to slide this in place as much as I can and then I'm going to tape it down with heat tape. Make sure it doesn't slide out of place. I don't even know what size I made it. I, I forgot. But I can make it a little larger the next time. So if I'm going to do 3 inch, if my disc, my um, acrylic disc is 3 inch, then... I want to do my image at least 3.3 or maybe even 3.5 just to give me enough coverage. And then I'm just going to put it on the heat press this way. And I'm going to do that for 40 seconds, 45 seconds at 400. Okay, so I'm taking them off the press. And I'm just going to use, this is a piece of stone, but I'm going to use it to keep them pressed down until they start to cool down because they will warp. The first time I tried this, my, um, my pieces warped. I don't know if you see that, but it warped. So I'm just letting them cool down while I keep this pressure on them so they can stay flat. Again, this is a, a piece of stone. I, I, don't, I never even use it. I just use it for craft stuff. I can feel that heat coming through there though. So I'll just keep this pressure on it till they cool down to keep it straight. And I think I'll um, put glitter on the back because once you pull the paper off, sometimes it, sometimes the paper gets stuck and it looks go okay to leave the paper, and then sometimes it doesn't because it doesn't come off all clean. So we'll see. Let's try it out now. This thing, this thing is really heavy.
Now you can leave it like that if you wanted to, or you can, I see a, um, a little bit of uh, where the tape was there. You could leave it like that if you wanted to, or you could uh, wash it off, wash that um, paper off, the paper back and off, which I think I'm going to wash it off maybe. But it come off clean, nothing didn't tear, so I don't have any gaps in it. It's stuff around the edge, so I may just wash it off. Like this one tore a little. So I'll wash this off and then I'll be back. Okay, y'all. Yeah. I let them sit in the water for about 10 minutes. One of them, this is what they look like. They're kind of like frosted glass glass is frosted like but when you lay it against that white it's your, it pops real good but the um one of them after 10 minutes the paper just slid right off the other one i had to just rub it off it's easy to get off so i think what i'm gonna do now is i think i'm gonna do a glitter back in it, and i think i'm gonna just add some uv resin we'll see how that see how it goes we're just gonna put some UV resin. Do one for now. Just do a thin coat for now. Some UV resin on the back. where I'm gonna add I'm gonna do some some gold glitter so I want to see how my light is just over here out of the camera view so I'm gonna see how that turns out I'm just gonna set this over here and then I'm just gonna put on We're going to see how it turns out. Making sure it's covered real good. I'm going to um, put it under the light and do the, the back side and then I'm going to flip it over and put it under the light and do the front side and we'll see how it turns out. And I'll be back to show you. Okay, y'all. You can see that. Okay, so you saw me put the resin on the back and then put the glitter on. So I put it under the light this way and then I flipped it over, put it under the light this way. I also, um, for added protection for the, um, pieces of glitter that the resin might have didn't touch or stick to that were still on the back of it. I put it on just a sheet of white paper, laid it face down like that and sprayed it with the Rust-Oleum clear lacquer just so it could glue it, glue the um, glitter down even further. So this is what they look like. Now, I will say for this, what I would probably do different, instead of 
taping it down to the um, image or to the sheet, you know, when you print and cut and then you flip the, the um, put the image on top of the, um, put the acrylic on top of the image. Instead of taping it down to the paper, I probably would um, spray, tack spray it down to the paper instead. That way we don't have that tape because when the heat press, when you flip over and you heat it, this, it kind of, I would say melts a little. So anything that's on it, it gives an indentation. So the tape was on it. So for this, it gave an indentation where the tape was. I mean, can't really see it, but I know it's there. So yeah, that aggravates me. So I would probably do that. And with this one, because it was yellow, you can't really see the um, the yellow color because of the gold glitter. I like this, I do, but it's kind of like a hard read for me because of the hue of that green against that gold. So for me, it's like a hard read, but they're, they're nice nonetheless. So. If you have um, acrylic blanks, give this a try and see how you like it. I hope this helps.